Hi, Mark Gordon with GoldenTicker.com on Wednesday, August 29th, 2012 with the gold, silver, and stock forecast. This is the GLD, the gold exchange traded fund, down about six-tenths of a percent. And we had a heck of a run here on some big volume, very impressive, got above all the key moving averages all of a sudden. Uh, we're above the 50-day, this blue line, and we're also now above this black dotted line, which is the dreaded 200-day moving average. Here's the 100 down here starting to swing up. Here's the 21 day, this red line in a nice uptrend. Here's the 10 day, this little gray line here, almost straight up. So we got a very anticipated pullback here uh, on a pickup in volume, uh, but the volume on the downside has not even matched the volume on the upside here as it made its big move out of this consolidation area. So this is expected uh, on lighter volume, just about average volume here. And we're coming down here and now using the 200-day uh, moving average as support instead of resistance. So this is a logical place to fight a battle. Uh, and uh, should it hold, uh, it might, uh, uh, you know, start another, uh, uh, you know, resume back up to the upside. Uh, if, uh, if it doesn't want to hold there, the next stop is this top line here on the uh, drawn across the previous tops, which actually coincides with this red line, the 21-day moving average. Uh, so uh, anticipated pullback in lighter volume so far, technically not a bad thing. And when we look at the uh, weekly chart of the GLD, uh, we can see this sort of cup formation uh, forming here. Uh, we are now putting in the right side of a cup, coming back into overhead resistance. I've drawn a line across two tops here. And uh, we're coming back into an area where we possibly could get some resistance and fight a battle here, maybe a pullback down into this blue line area, which is the 10-week moving average, maybe even down here uh, a little less at the 160 level, kind of where we are now, which we have the dual support of the 20 and the 10-week moving averages. So uh, um, not a bad pullback. If you kind of use your eyes and draw the bottom side of a cup, you can also see the points of uh, support that we may have. Uh, I'm calling around the 158 to 160 level is our support. Now, fight a little battle here and then push up and come back and, and, and form the uh, rest of the right side of the cup would be a great thing. Uh, I'd love to see a little handle put in at that point as you get to the 174 area, consolidate a little bit in low volume, and then boom, blast out and take out this previous high, and then it is off to the races. Moving on now to the gold stocks, this is the GDX, the uh, Gold Miners ETF, down about 1% today and forming a bit of a low volume handle here, just what we love to see. Um, you had a nice move up and some good volume here, breaking through these key moving averages, still below the 200 day line though, that's okay. Putting in a low volume consolidation handle, drifting down, that's exactly what we love to see. And should we, uh, uh, your first buy point, the way I see it, would be if it breaks this downtrending line here. You can kind of draw an imaginary line. Now, if we get a break above that, you could nibble on some shares. And then if we break 48.15, we're going to go up here and probably test this overhead moving average here. So um, <clears throat> that for you short-term traders, that's a trading idea. Nothing's written in stone, of course. But uh, so far, light volume handle, the cup shape that we're putting in continues. And uh, let's hope that we can uh, get above this 200-day moving average, bring more traders into this uh, gold stock trade. They've been beaten down for a long time and continue with the right side of the... Moving on now to the silver trade. This is the SLV, the silver ETF, down about a half a percent today in light volume, two days of light volume as we made a higher high here at 3024. We had some good volume as we gapped out several gaps here. Nice move on silver. Um, about a 10% move very quickly, very powerful move, up above all the key moving averages here. And uh, now we've gotten above the 200-day moving average, something we haven't done in quite some time. You have to go back to the earlier part of the year to see that. And now we're using that as support. Great sign here. Silver still continuing uh, uh, to move higher in my, in my view. Uh, possibly a little more consolidation here and then another run up. Um, uh, you know, let's see what happens here. The selling could continue. If it does, uh, take out support here at the 200-day moving average, which is currently at 29.56, 29.56. Uh, your next area of support will come down here at the $28 zone here with the 21-day moving average and the 100-day moving average. And then your next support down around 27 uh, and change here with the 10-day uh, uh, moving average. So good, good action on silver. 
Here is the NASDAQ composite moving on to stocks now, up a little over a tenth of a percent here. We've had a hell of a move here in the NASDAQ and now putting in some consolidation in light volume here uh, as we sort of make a sideways uh, kind of pattern, a little bit of drifting up here. Don't like to see that so much. Rather have a consolidation drifting down, but it is light volume and we are for the most part moving sideways with support here at this gray solid line, the 10 day moving average. Uh, we got support down here at the red line, the 21 day moving average. We also have support down here at this trend line here and then further support down here at the 50 day moving average which is currently coming in at 29.59. Uh, 29.59. So uh, good action on the NASDAQ. And uh, last but not least the S&P 500, your larger cap companies here also a sideways consolidation, uh, uh, more of a down drifting feel to this. I like that better. We had come up here and tested this overhead uh, 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 trend line here and for the third time got turned away. Good sign getting support here at the 21 day moving average and uh, possibly uh, if uh, selling wants to really ensue, come down here and test this lower trend line here uh, at about the 1380 zone. But right now uptrend continuing. We are in a consolidation period. That's about it as far as I see. So there you have it. Um, uh, gold and silver and stocks looking good all in uptrends. So good luck trading everybody.